Hello, my name is Quinn Kimmett. And I'm Vince Devine. And today, well, I'm going to be showing Vince how to use the ATEM Mini to live edit. That's right. Very excited. Sounds good. Let's hop to it. So this is the backside of the ATEM Mini. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to this power. Take this. Plug it in. Next, we are going to skip the ATEM control. The ATEM control can be hooked up to your computer if necessary, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to go to the USB out, and into our USB out, we are going to plug in our drive. Drive's plugged in. Now comes the HDMI out, and in the HDMI out, we are going to plug in a program monitor. If you can see right here, we'll turn our program monitor on, and we have no signal. And that is because we need to plug in our cameras. And then we have mics one and two. We're going to skip those for now. Um, but that's the back side of the A10 Mini. Now let's get into the editing. Now there's a whole bunch of buttons here and they're really confusing at first, but we'll start with these nice colorful ones down here. The first thing you need to know is that green means preview and red means program. There are four possible cameras that you can plug into the A10 Mini Pro. And so if you want to, you can cut between the program and the preview by hitting this button right here. You can see when I press the cut button, it switches back and forth. Up here in the upper right corner is the record, stop, on air, and off buttons. Recording and stopping is when you're doing live editing and you can Press record and it will go directly to your drive and then you can hit stop. On air and off is just the same as record and stop, but it's if you are live streaming. Now if I click this M slash V in the lower left corner of the video out section, you will now see that everything is displayed on the field monitor. So, you can see the preview, the program, all cameras, etc. So, if you see me cut, preview and program will switch, and so on. If, for example, you only want to see what you will see in the final product, you hit this lower right corner button on the A10 Mini, which is program. You will see what is on program, at all times, no matter what I cut to. If you want to do some sort of transition between your cuts rather than just a plain cut, you can go to this effect panel. Let's say you want to slide from the left. From the top, fade, and squish from left, as well as the mix and the dip to white. If, for example, you want to change the duration of an effect, you can go over to the duration section. So that can range anywhere from half of a second to two seconds. So say I want to mix with half a second, you can see it's quite fast, or I can mix with two seconds. And now the final section that we'll be covering is the picture in picture section. So say you want to display both camera one and two at the same time. You can turn picture in picture on and you will see that currently in the upper right hand corner, there is camera one. I can switch it to the upper left hand corner, lower left, or lower right. And once you want the picture in picture to be gone, just click the off button. And that concludes the lesson on the A10 Mini. Well Vince, I hope you learned something today. I did.
I learned a lot about live editing on the ATEM. Sweet. Now, I believe it is your turn to show me something. Hmm. Well, I do know how to blow my nose, so it sounds kind of like a horn, if you want to hear that. Yeah, of course. I'll just pull out a tissue. That is impressive. Yeah, what did you think? Jeez. I wish I could do that. Dang. All I can do is... It's unfortunate. You'll get it one day.